Vicky is going to share with us getting started with e-property sites. And if you guys incorporate this, whoever's listening to this call right now, if you incorporate this into your business, it's going to help you get more listings, keep the listings you have, also attract buyers while tying in social media and technology. And I think you'll see why after Vicky goes through this uh, class one. Now, there's five classes all in total. So this is just class one getting started. And then after you complete this one, we'll have class two and then class three, class four. And then as we go along, it's going to get a little more advanced and a little more, um, what's the right word, technical. But it's going to help you to stay up to date with all these tool systems and strategies. So Vicky, uh, thanks so much for doing this for us. You've been the expert. You've been you've taught, I don't know, thousands of agents how to use the system. <laughs> with massive, yeah. unbelievable results. So I'm gonna let you take it away. I'm taking notes, because every yeah. time you're on the call, I learn something. So oh, uh, let's, yeah. let's do this. Okay, sounds great. We're ready to go. Hey, Ron, are you on? Uh, on you? Are you online right now? Hey, can you hear me, Ron Vicky? Ekema? Yeah, hey, good, good, good. thank you for, yeah, very good, thank you for joining us. Yeah, glad to be um, here. Yeah, good, uh, well, I wanted to kind of let everyone know that I have Ron Ekema with us. Um, Ron, I had sent um, an email to you um, with your login and password. Did you get a chance to log in and look at any property sites? I know this is your first time that you got a chance to view it. Yeah, I got the email. I have yet to uh, get onto it yet, so I'm kind of uh, excited to see all about this. Okay, good, good. Well, that's what I'm going to do today. Today I'm going to give you the basics. We're going to go through each what each one of these tabs are. Um, and it's going to have you know give you an idea of able to navigate the system, you know, so I want you to feel a little bit more comfortable about, you know, diving in here and um, playing around with it. This is going to be um, our first training, which is just going to be your basics. Um, and then we're going to get into week two a little bit uh, more about how to post to Craigslist, how to really clone a marketing plan um, that is going to be tailored and customized just for you. Um, we'll get into some more like basic information and then the next week's coming we're going to dive real deep into um, you know property blogging and how to drive traffic to your site and social media and that stuff does that sound like a plan yeah it sounds great excellent so just for everybody listening right now we um, Ron Ekimo is uh, kind enough to do our, our this recording with us because it's always better to use a particular person than it is to try and fake it with somebody that doesn't exist so we're gonna use Ron Ron I appreciate you doing that brother. Yeah, I'm glad to be here okay yeah, and, and again, if you have any questions, don't, you know, feel free to jump in, ask me the questions that are on your mind, because this this training isn't really about you. Even though we're recording it for everyone else to listen to, um, it's really focused in about you. So I don't want, you know, I want you to feel free to, to uh, you know, ask anything that you want, and um, we'll get started right now. Okay, so what you're seeing, Ron, um, is ePropertySites. property sites. This is what you're going to see when you first log in. Okay. Um, this is your dashboard at the top up here. Um, and every single one of these tabs have a drop-down menu that do certain things that, um, you know, it, it's, is what you're going to want to be able to, to dive into. Today, we're going to go over the basics of what each of these tabs are and all of these little tabs here. Um, but we're really going to focus in on three tabs, which are going to be your properties, your setup, and then we're going to touch base real quickly on the marketing uh, flip shows. I just want to show you the power behind the system. Um, and then we're going to get started from there. So I always start with setup. Now your setup tab um, has the drop down menu here which is your basic information. Um, it has your picture and your logo which you can always click to delete or add a new one if you choose. Um, your personal bio is really basically your resume. Um, and you know when you're having someone Google your name um, you want to be able to fill page one, page two, and page three. And this particular bio will be one of those links that people will see. Um, whenever you see eyeballs, is what I call them, <laughs> um, that means that you can view whatever you want to view. So if we click on the bio that I did for you now, and of course this is up to you to, to change it, make sure it's proofed correctly. Um, and you know, you may want to, I just copied and pasted this stuff from your website. Um, Ron, so if these are things that you don't want to change, it's very easy just to go in there and, um, you know, add more. Like, for example, you know, I could actually add more characters in here if I wanted to. Awesome. Um, so, yep, so you can go in there and change everything. I will tell you uh, from learning from experience, every time you do one step, make sure you save it. 
I have done so much where I've done things where I, you know, get going on it and I forget to save and you know, I've lost a lot of work. So remember to save every single step of the way. So if you take a look at view page, um, you'll see that this is your bio that's going to be that's on Google at this time. This is a scrolling widget of all your listings that we uploaded for you. And again, you can make this as um, resume-ish as you want. I happen to use your, your testimonials, which I think is a great thing for people to see. I would agree. Yeah, I'm going to go back. Yeah. So like so, um, it's not like it's not like you have to recreate the wheel. Just go with like I could like uh, an agent could go with what they already have on their website, and if they don't have something, that. then they would have to do a little work. But if not, just copy and paste what they already have to get this thing up and running. Right, exactly. Um, options page is where I'm going to be once we get into the social media sites and we can and we are able to link all of those sites and they're up and running for you. This is the page that we would be doing that on too as well. Sorry about um, that. So we're going to go back to information. Um, so Ron, a little bit of homework for you. After we're done, if you just go in here and double check, I put your top 10, what I thought were your top 10 zip codes in your area, but if those are not it, go in please and change it. Also, I just put your basic um, designations in. So um, you know, if you have an ABR or something, please enter that too as well. And you know, your phone numbers, make sure that they're correct. So um, if we're good there, does that look pretty good right now? Yeah, it looks good. Are you run? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So then you just click save. Um, and then, of course, I uploaded your team photo um, as well as your logo. If that's good, we'll just leave it alone. And, again, just um, your bio, if you want to go and improve it, that would be great. Okay. And, so just for, and, and just for everybody listening, as far as the picture and logo, that can come from your computer. So when you click on picture and logo, you just uh, it, there's an upload button. Because there's a picture already there, you just would want to click upload, and it'll take you to an upload queue. You would upload any picture you want, whether it's yourself or a team in place. And then the exactly. same with the yeah. logo as well. Okay. Yeah, and you just save it to your desktop, and it finds it. I will tell you that um, the photos really need to be in a JPEG. Um, if you have Jing, which I will show you, you know, Ron, make sure you guys get this because I use this every day. Yeah. Um, Jing is a ping, so um, it doesn't take it. I have to save as on my desktop to JPEG. And I think and, you cover. I think you cover that in class two or three, right? A couple of the. I do. Okay, yeah. good. A couple right. of the, cool. the, the things that are going to make your life so much easier, and that's just Correct. one of the things. So we're going to go to properties. As you can see, I've so far we've uplo uploaded 24 of your properties. Um, and with the properties, there's a drop-down menu. So um, properties, I have the choice of adding a new property, posting to Craigslist, a broadcast my move. Um, those are the three main ones that you do. We already went through options on the other page. And widgets we're going to get into later um, towards the end of the class. Um, so properties. For example, if I wanted to add a new property, I'm going to show you how to add one in just a moment. But first, I kind of want to go through um, these little tabs here. Hey, Vicki, so uh, real, Vicky, yeah. real quick, for those people that are listening right now that might not have a, pro a listing or a couple listings. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, do you have any suggestions for them, what they could do if they don't have any listings? I do. In fact, we do it quite often with um, a lot of agents. Ask your broker. The broker owns the listings. Ask them if you can use their listings as if they're yours. All that you have to do is give credit when credit is due. Yeah. So in the comments at the bottom, you would just say, um, you know, provided or subject to or whatever by, you know, um, you know, your broker's name. Great and idea. Most people... Most people are not going to read to the very, very, very bottom. But the good thing is, is that you can use their listings in the office. You can um, post those listings to Craigslist as if they're yours. Correct. You can start blogging, and again, this is a later class, but you can start blogging as if they're yours. So what you're doing is you're driving traffic to the site, which is a benefit to them, but it also allows you to then get the calls that are going to come in from Craigslist and Google. Um, and then you can capture those people, you know, and develop a relationship with them. And sounds, you know, it sounds, sounds, sounds like a win-win because, I mean, I, I, I've, I've, I personally know agents that have went from zero listings to as many as 80 listings in like 30 to mm -hmm. 60 days just by borrowing other people's listings. So now wow. they're building their brand. They're getting out there. They're building your, you know, all this stuff you're going to learn with this system allows you to literally go from zero to hero in a very short period of time. So yeah, that's a great idea. Great Absolutely. idea. Absolutely. Yeah, and this system, I, I, you know, one of the things, Ron, I want to talk about is um, 
this is really your foundation. This is, you know, like it's building the house. You have to start somewhere with the foundation. You, may, you want to make it strong. Um, this gives you everything that you need in one place. So it covers you for pre-listing and that marketing that you need to drive and, and get buyers and get your name out there. It covers you for everything that you're going to need during your listing transaction, you know, from the QR codes to, you know, the text capture phone number to being able to get, you know, Google exposure to giving your clients a, a fantastic website. And then it takes care of your after close with the broadcast my move which we'll go over in just a few minutes right and vicky so, i want to i want to share really quick for for everybody listening if you um have questions you know, you're probably going to have questions on this what you want to do is get with a loan professional that sent you the link to this recording uh and then if he for some reason can't answer it he has a team in place that can help you from there but the goal is to you know work together to grow this thing because it's really about you and your business and your listings and your your real estate business so I'm sure you're going to have questions. Just maybe write them down as we go along with this training and then get with your loan professional that's saying to the training to uh, to get those questions answered. Hey, Vicki, I got a question. Yeah. Um, I know there's yeah. a lot of different um, services out there that kind of let you have your listings in them. Um, what makes this um, you know software different from the others? Um, well, that's a good question. Um, I have never seen anything that gives it all in one together. Um, out there and I have been in real estate and I have been an agent and I have been a buyer's agent you know so I I you know I've worked with Advantage XI and top producer and realtor um, online you know so um, but they've all and they're great for the marketing plans and they're they're really good at, with what they do this is just like a Cadillac of services you know it's like the top of the top um, it gives it gives you all the power that you need to, to compete in today's society. I mean, if if you are not understanding the mindset of the new way of marketing, um, and this system gives you that, and you're still doing it the old way, um, you know, you're missing something. You're missing the opportunity to reach another level of success. Um, so, you know, I, I would strongly, Ron, recommend that you embrace it. Okay. Um, and once you see the power of the system, you know, you're never going to, um, you're going to, you might still obviously use those. This is just enhancing everything for you. Um, and and I recommend that, you know, you have a great database system, and Top Producer is that, you know. So use, using that for your database and maybe, you know, your inner office systems about, you know, what you do during the transaction, you know, using it for your pending checklist and stuff like that, you know, obviously there's a, that is good. But this is it uh, another level so yeah it sounds really good and I know you don't understand it right now but once you dive into it and embrace it you know you will see how great it is I would agree with you Vicki change is probably the hardest part so change, I mean it change, is. It's changing any, that, any that software that new any new phone and you know any new system is just going to be a little bit of a change but once you once you see the value in it then of course getting results is the easy part Exactly. And I know maybe you might have some fear, Ron, you know, of, of trying to you know, adding one more thing on your plate. But I tell you what, this is so easy. And you'll have not only tutorials um, that you can go back to. If you ever see this little question mark, you can click on that and that will answer all kinds of questions for you and give you videos. Um, in addition to that, you can get help from the support hotline that's that's on and you can ask a question and they'll answer it to you down here. Um, so you know, and plus, you know, um, you can also go back to, um, I know you, Ron, can come back to us, but, you know, you can also have your loan officer be able to answer your questions for you, too, as well. Awesome. Okay, so let's get started on that. So um, this is status, and to see the difference between the two here, um, Ron, we have all of these launched. And what that means is that um, they're active. You have them under contract, and now they're being pushed to all kinds of different sites, like Realtor.com, Trulia, Hotpad. Mm -hmm. um, you can put a property in, like, for example, if you're going to go on a listing appointment, and just not launch it um, until you have a contract. So that's the difference between the two when you see a check mark, that status that's unlaunched versus launched. Um, the buy is where you would go in and buy whatever you want. You could buy water bottle labels through e-property sites, text writers. Um, there's a ton of different things that you can buy through them. You would click on this particular button, um, and it would look like this. You would just kind of scroll through it. 
like for example, obviously that's not costing you anything, the single property website. So you just click next, um, click next. You know, you can buy your own donate domain name if you want it to. It's thirteen dollars. These are all the different text writers that you can buy through them. They're nineteen dollars. So you can go all the way through these different tabs if you want to buy something. Um, but for the most the part, you, I mean, you don't have to buy anything. It's just get, it's just reminding you of what could be done on a property. Okay. Absolutely. Right. So if you don't click that button, you know, then you don't have you won't buy it, and you get to check out, and it's zero. Um, however, th I just wanted to show you the water bottle labels. We have a lot. Of, I have had a lot of agents buy this like during graduation. Um, and oh, you know you can do that's a great that's a, idea. a great tool for that. Or if you're having a cookout, or you know sometimes they use them for their open houses and they just you know put the labels. That's on a great bottles. idea. So yeah, that's a um, great idea. Never thought about graduation. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go back to properties. Um, view again. You know if you ever want to see what something looks like, you can hit the view button and that tells you what the, the site looks like. So let's take a look at one of yours that I have uploaded. Um, if you want, I think, yeah, go to the next page. I think the uh, the very yeah. bottom one there would be a good one. The very bottom one there, that, that one right there, yeah. Okay, yep. So let's take a look at the eyeballs and take a look at what that website looks like. So, and we have a spokesperson. I think you're going to fall in love with this incredible home. Take a look around the website by clicking on the link to view everything, like the photo gallery, virtual tour, and even see what is close to this home by clicking on what's nearby. Have a look around. I think really going to so um so I can have that 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 spokesperson come out or I can not have her come out correct wow either way no I correct. I yeah. see that you have the first picture as the entire background picture of that 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 looks really nice yeah it does it fills the screen um you know it, it, this is actually beautiful this I mean your sellers. Um, you're gonna, obviously, you're going to want to take this URL right here, uh, one of the first things that you want to have done in your office, and you want to let your sellers know that this is their property. Um, and it's a live link. Uh, even though it may not be launched, it's still a live link, too. So, um, And go through that with them. Let them now, know what your marketing efforts are doing. Now, do you need to do something special to get that picture in the background or... No, there's, and I'm going to go through that in just a moment. These, there's tons of different templates that you can choose. Um, this is the most popular, and the reason why it is is because um, the sellers are selling a product, just like you know Target does and Walmart does. So you want to showcase your product. Um, and using the larger pictures that you sent over to us versus the small ones that come from the MLS, you know, a thumbnail is great. Um, but it's small, and I can never make it bigger. Um, whereas if you take a picture, you know, when you're going out there um, that you normally would anyways, and if you send that over, that's an HD image, and that's what, you know, I can make it bigger, and it just flows perfectly. Yeah, so, it looks great. Um, yeah, it looks real. It looks real professional. It's very clean and concise. Um, and this is actually your listing. So every single one of your listings will have a website that is uniquely their address, um, and I can show you where we can change this little area here. So it could be their address at buymenow.com or a dozen other domains. But this is what it looks like. Um, this is your home page. You can have unlimited photos um, in the photo gallery. I'm going to show you how to upload those. Um, this is your virtual tour. And it's automatically generated for you. Sorry about that. This is the area information. Um, this is a property map that's already generated for you. Uh, what's nearby, you know, that's already generated for you too as well. Um, area schools, both private, public, is automatically generated for you. And then, of course, area view. Um, and you can do, you know, the road. You can do 3D, 2D, bird's eye view. There's all kinds of different ones that you can do as well. Property information, this is where um, people would um, want to find out about, you know, rates and, um, and estimated loan payments. That information is there. They can click on this information to find out more, request a showing. And what's kind of nice about this, too, is that it's automatically generated with four different flyer websites um, or flyers that you can send for open houses or if you're, I don't know if you put the tubes out front like some of the agents do. That means they never, the sellers have to wait on you to print something and bring it out there. They have access of just going down here and printing as a PDF 
and placing all the information in their information boxes. So I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what a property looks like. Um, now, for example, if I wanted to go in and make any changes, the next button would be the edit button, the little pencil. So let's go ahead and see if I want to make a change on this one for you. And this button now gives me a drop down menu of other things that can be done. So I wanted to let you know that you can choose it as a condo. You can use this um, system for vacant land. Um, I use it for income property if it's commercial. Um, you can use it for lease, and you can use it for a uh, for sale by owner. So, um, which could all be, I mean, powerful. just just looking at this really big, uh, real quick. This, the, these are all strategies that we're going to talk about in the later classes when they come along. Is FISBO strategy, yeah. rental strategy, vacant land. I mean, there's all kinds of builder strategy, all kinds of different things you could use to grow your, yeah. your listing portfolio. Absolutely. Cool. Um, this is the status, this little drop down menu. You can make it active and active, it sold. Um, details and links. See, these, this information is automatically populated from your MLS. However, um, it doesn't do it all. So you really should go in and if it's, you know, if it's a condo, you're going to want, you know, association dues, you know, put that amount in there. Whenever you see a little question mark, that means that, you know, it's telling you what it is. So if it's a school link, you know, go grab the school link, you know, and put that URL link here. Um, and, of course, hit save every time that you do it. The same thing with descriptions. This is automatically populated from the MLS. But, you know, you can come in here and change the title if you want to. Um, you can come in here and add main floor laundry or in-ground pool, whatever features that you want to, too, as well. And that just fills up the website with little bullet points, which is kind of nice. Now, layout and controls. These are the templates I was talking about, Ron, where you mentioned this is the template that you currently have right now. Okay. Um, but now each one of these tabs have, you know, other colors that you could use for it. You know, um, maybe you, you don't want to have, maybe you want to have just a very plain website. Um, this is black. And then again, you could have, see where the top of it looks like, um, you know, a home. You might want to have it be a garden up okay. at the top. You know, maybe your house is dark, and so you want to um, exterior siding or something. You might want to have a white background, you know, and maybe you might want to do, um, maybe it's on a golf course. So you'll get to know the ones that you like, but the HD layout number six is the most popular. So, um, and especially if you have the HD photos. If you don't have an HD photo, you can't use this one. It reverts back to something else. So then in that case, you can still use this, this template, but maybe you might want to choose to have it to be a city, you know, in the background. Okay? Okay, sounds good. So, and you'll get to know the ones. We have, I have certain agents that want a certain template, a certain spokesperson, certain kind of music, and they never deviate from that. It's always the same, which is kind of a good strategy because, you know, it's branding again. That's why when you walk into Target, it's always the same. So, you know, she knows all the time that um, each of her clients are going to be the same. Um, up here is where I mentioned um, the address at April Property Sites. This is another drop-down menu that you can choose another domain for it. It could be their address at callthesacproperty.com or can be yours. So you can change it. It doesn't have to be ePropertySites Sites here. If you did, then you just hit Save and kind of go on. Okay. So um, another feature I wanted to show you is the open house feature. So say, for example, <clears throat> you have an open house, um, you know, this Sunday. Oops, sorry. So I'll just use this little menu here. You just automatically put in the date or the, the date or whatever? Yeah. You, no, it should, do, it should do it any for you. Okay, there you go. Okay, so say I have it on Sunday, the 27th. Okay. Um, and... That's cool. Just want to make sure. It's Monday. You know, I don't know where I'm at. Okay, it's going to be one, two. Do it on Monday. Do it on Monday. <laughs> and I just want to kind of show you what it looks like. So I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to take a look at it with the eyeballs. And notice over in this corner. Did you notice we were having an open house? Just to find out more. Isn't that cute? I like that. That's great. Um, it's awesome. Yeah. 
So, you know, like if you're going to have an open house, you're going to post it to Craigslist, you're going to blog about it, this is later down the road, and then this little spokesperson is going to come out and say something. It's kind of interactive, um, and it's quite cute. So, but now you don't have an open house. Um, so I want to go back into my edit button. I want to go back to the open house, and I want to just remove it, and I'm just deleting it. So that the regular spokesperson that's on there now, I hit save. Make sure that it did, you know, take what you did. And there's a gentleman that's another one of ours. Oh, hi. I didn't notice you there. I was just admiring this fantastic home, as I'm sure you were too. So just making sure that it did correctly. Um, so we're back into open house. Um, miscellaneous and notes I don't really do anything with. Just kind of wanted to let you know that. Um, Craigslist up here is what we're going to get into in next time. So one of your homework, Ron, if you can get me your login and password for Craigslist. Um, okay. So get, um, yeah, so go into Craigslist. If you don't have one, you open an account. Very, very simple. And so, then for, have that. so for anybody listening, they would just want to get, they would want to open up a Craigslist account. It's really simple. There's no cost to do it. And then yeah. get with your loan professional and then just get that set up. Because it's real easy. What you're going to show us now is how to do it, which is, Super. I mean, it's crazy simple and really powerful. Because if you're, if people are looking for properties on Craigslist and they do, and you're, you're not ever there, there's no way for them to find you. So. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not going to show you until until you until next week's class, um, Ron. But um, the difference is is that you're posting from here. It's looking so much more professional than just taking some words and putting, you know, uploading four images. You know what I mean? So that's. This is all about what people think about you, what your image is, what your brand is. Yeah, so I'm you want it about to be that. Yeah, you want it to be the top at the top. Um, so and there's different layouts that you can choose. So next next week um, when you get your Craig, when you get your login and password for me, then I will upload uh, one of your properties to it and then that way you can upload all of them. Um, what I will tell you though too is that don't upload too many at one time because right. um, you know they'll think that you're spam. So you want to be selective and do just a few, a couple, no more than maybe three a day. Right. Okay. Um, and kind of go from there. Now the next one that we're now gonna again, talk you about know, again, now really quick, Vicky. Now, really, now remember, if you don't have any listings and you borrow listings, you can now put those listings onto Craigslist to get exposure. Now you're out there. In the marketplace, building a brand, but now you're on Craigslist and, and have an opportunity to have a buyer call you because now you have a listing out there where somebody can find it. That's a great idea. I Absolutely. mean, this could this could yeah. happen in the same exact day that you see this. You know, you start this. You could literally walk next door, talk to your broker owner, say, "Hey, what listings can I market of yours?" Or go to all your your people in your office and uh, yeah. start grabbing listings and marketing them. That's and it's idea. I mean, it's it's endless what you can do with this thing. Absolutely. Yep. Um, so the next thing we're going to talk about um, in the Properties tab is Broadcast My Move. Um, I love this. Um, broadcast My Move is a gift that you can give to your your buyers, your sellers, if they moved into another home. And what it is is you're giving them their own website. And in that own website, they're going to have um, a virtual tour and pictures and directions. Now they can take that URL, that link, post it on their Facebook page, Send it out in an email, you know, because they're excited about their new home that, that they just purchased. This is really a thank you gift and a testimonial built into one. Because who's going to get co-branded with that buyer? It's going to be you. So that buyer's family, that buyer's friends, that buyer's person, people that she works with or he works with, is going to see you co-branded with them. So let's take a look at what one looks like, okay? Sounds good. Yep. So you could change this up here so it, it could be, you know, broadcast our move, um, you know, just moved, moving soon. Um, but this is basically what it is. And this is their either last name or address at the property sites again. It's a live link. So, for example, let's copy that link, that URL. And let's just go to uh, open up a new tab. And I want to show you that it's live. Now, for you, so, now for, for for people listening on the car right now, I, this is one of the most powerful closing gifts you can give somebody because he, they everybody wants to share their excitement and their new home with their family, friends, coworkers. Now, with social media it being as big as it is, 
this is a way for them to share it on their social media sites for all their friends, family, and coworkers to see. And I, man, I just, I can't even, I, I've never seen as powerful of a closing gift to get your name as an agent out there. So I would highly recommend doing this. It takes literally what, three to four minutes. And what I recommend, and I know Vicky's yeah. probably going to cover this, is when you go through the final walkthrough, start snapping pictures of them inside their new home before you go to closing. And then by the time closing's done, you can have your assistant or you could do it the same day of closing or the day after to send this to them as a link that they can share with the world. Amazing. Right. Right. Very cool. So, yep. So basically, Ron, what you would do is you would, you know, this is your message to your client. You know, how great it was to work with them. We had a blast. You know, I, you know, I wish you, you know, happy memories in your new home and, you know, future endeavors. You know, remember me for, our, you know, whatever you want to say. This is your message here that you would send to them. Now, obviously, this is a sample, um, so you wouldn't have your clients sitting outside their home. But this could be the front of their home that they just purchased. Um, and this is their information. Um, if they choose they don't want to have their phone numbers on here, I don't put their phone numbers on there. I don't personally. Um, if they choose to want that, they will call me back and say, Vicki, can you put the phone number on for, you know, the Smiths? And I say, oh, sure. So I just go in and I add it. Two seconds, it's done. Um, but that's more of a privacy thing. Sure. The cool thing is, is this is you. This will be you, Ron. Your picture, your your team photo here, um, and all of your information and all your sites here. So this URL, the first thing that they see is going to be you and them. So it's like a testimonial because they've used you, that you worked with them. You know, it's just one more good thing that you're putting out there. Um, you can have unlimited photos again that you upload from your computer to your broadcast my move. Um, you can do a virtual tour which is automatically generated for you. And what I like about this is location. Not only do I get directions to the home, you know, I can do an area view lookup, you know, I can do you know what's nearby, coffee shops, restaurants, how close they are to everything. A street view, you know, so I can actually see, you know, what the actual house looks like. So what I normally do is I would send out an email and I would say, you know, um, you know, the Smith family wanted to let you know that this is a thank you gift that I have prepared for you, which is your own unique website. Right. So, you know, and now, um, um, you know, they're excited, you know, and, and in your own website, which I will leave active for you as long as you like, you can post this to Facebook and let your friends, family, and coworkers know um, you know, how to get to your home. You can use it for your next housewarming gift party that you have. Um, so feel free. This is my gift to you. So that's kind of, you know, of course it has to be your words, but, you know, you're, you're giving this as a benefit. You're giving this, again, like results in advance. Yeah, we've had people, we've had agents share it on our own business page just to say thanks for, you know what I mean? Like I've had Absolutely. agents go, you know, I give this link to them and then they come back to my Facebook page, which alerts all my friends and people I've done business with that, hey, we close, you know, just saying thanks, thank you so much for helping us get our new home, blah, blah, blah. And they post this link there and it's so cool to see that happening. And when you, when that happens, you know, it's a, it's like touching, you know, it's just a good gift. Yep. Yep, Exactly. So um, what I'm going to go back in is going to be get some of these tabs out. Okay, so we're going to go back. We're at, we're done there. Options I'm not going to go over now. That's those social media tabs that we will link all of your stuff to later on, Ron. Once I get um, your Facebook and all that stuff ready to go. Perfect. Um, so now we've talked briefly about setup. We've talked about properties. Um, one thing I'm going to do real quick for you is just to show you how easy it is to put a property up. Um, so, add new is a button that you would do. Now, Vicky, um, I know you're going to you're going to cover this in a later class, but uh, I want you guys to start getting the mindset behind this. Is like, what if you were going to a listing presentation? Just I'm just going to throw this out there, and Vicky's going to cover this once you get comfortable with it. But once, say you're going to a listing presentation tomorrow, you you drive by the home to take a picture of the home. And now you're going to go do what Vicky's going to show us how to do is how easy and fast it is to upload a property that you haven't even been to yet. But all you need, isn't that correct, Vicky? You need one picture? Three. You three pictures? Picture. Okay. So take three pictures of the outside, whatever. I mean, obviously you can't get in the inside because you haven't been there yet. But So you're going to just add an address. You're going to add a price. And so when you get to this home, 
we're, you're going to do what's, what's called results in advance. You're going to say, here's what I've already created for you. Instead of here's what I'm going to do for you, you've already put work into it, showing them the tool systems and strategies that you have in place as a techie person to help get massive amounts of exposure for their home. Right. Right. Which is, I think, just it's just it gives me chills thinking about it. That you're going to walk in with something that's so powerful when you walk into a listing presentation that's already done for them. So you're, I think, why, why I'm talking, you're you're completing this with it literally takes two, one to two minutes to do this. You're going to pick Absolutely. a template, which yeah. she's doing now. I'm using my own home. You know, uh, I think that was a minute. That wasn't even a minute. I don't think that you just did that. And obviously, here's the thing: it doesn't. You don't know how many bedrooms it has. You, I mean, you might, but it doesn't. That that part doesn't matter. None of that matters. So just make it all up. Make sure that when you walk into this home, you like the picture that comes up is like boom, the front of their home. That's what really matters, you know. And you fill in the blanks later because it's already done. And I'm just taking images that are off my computer. You know, I just right. wanted to show you. Okay. So I just clicked on them. They're on my desktop. If you wanted to save them on your desktop or in a folder, and then you just click upload. Now, if you had the MLS, they would automatically populate over for you. Now, let me just repeat what you just number. said there. I don't know if you guys caught this, uh -huh. but if, you, if you're if you submitting to the MLS, and we've got this thing called List Hub, within less than three minutes, you can have all the pictures that are in the MLS. So there's, there's no work that really has to be done. Now, what she just showed you is manually entering a property, but I just wanted to make right. sure you knew that, that you, can, you can automatically pull stuff from the MLS using the system. Right. And Ron, I wanted to show you too is that you know if you don't, you can change things around. You're not, it's not everything's not set in stone. So say for example, I don't like that last one to be there, so I just want to move it. So all all you're doing is just dragging it over. So now I have it for number two. You know, again, hit save. And again, if you don't like it, you can delete it. Say you go out there; these are just stock photos for your listing that you took of exteriors, and they're not the best that you want to use. So you just go in here and delete them all and upload new, you know, after you get the listing. Or maybe it's a seasonal change where there's snow, and now you want to go, you know, with summer photos. That's how easy it is to do. So I hit save, and then return. Now I'm going to do the virtual tour. It says no custom virtual tour exists for this property, but to create one, all you do is click on any picture. So all it is is click, and this is an HD photo. See, this right here, this parameters, would have been your small little thumbnail. Okay. But because this is an HD photo, a bigger one, I just you know drag it to, um, to the corners and you know hit save, move it where I want it to be. Now you have to do that with each individual one. This is not an HD photo, as you can see, so it's just small. And I will tell you that, um, um, see the difference here? This is this is a landscape. When you do landscape for your photos, that looks so much better than you know a portrait where it's up and down. Because um, like if this was a a door, you know I wouldn't be able to get the whole room in there. So make sure that you take your pictures on landscape mode. Um, that'll make your job a lot easier. And your pictures. Okay, a so bit. I like the. Yeah, there's three right now. And again, if I didn't like the where they were, I can move them. I can delete them. You know, right here is where you would do that. I don't mess with this. Um, this is a virtual tour, but you can choose to zoom in, out, pan up or down, right or left. Um, I just let that automatically choose its own more as a default. And then I hit save. And it's done. I go back to my list. And there it is. Now awesome. I go in and I, wow. now what I, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into tools, which so far we've only taught, gotten up to media, right? Right. That's all that we've gone to. So now I'm going to go into tools. Tools is, you'll use this quite a bit. This is where you put your polish on stuff. Um, music, there's tons of different types of music. You'll get to know the ones that you like the best. Um, and then you can have the music play on your website or tour only on your website, only on the tour, or no music at all. Um, I will give you an idea. Some agents don't want music playing because they feel that, that people look at work, and if music is playing out of their computer, they're going to get in trouble. Uh -huh. So they just opt out of it quickly. So you're so saying you're to, being naughty. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, um, and then if you're going to have a spokesperson, which I do like, 
I make sure that the music only plays on the virtual tour, not when they're speaking, because that's really annoying to have music playing in the background and someone trying to talk. Very true. So, um, yeah, so I know uh, which ones I like, so I'm going to choose Soft Rock, I'm going to choose this one, and I'm only going to have it play on the tour. Then I'm going to hit Save. Banners and overlays are great. You know, you can choose a banner if you want. There's all kinds of little drop-down menus. Um, you know, if you, a banner, you know, you can have it go across right here. Or maybe, you know, you might want to have a female with keys. Um, you know, I'm not um, a big fan on these, but, you know, if you are, please, you know, go ahead and use them. Um, I like to keep everything kind of, you know, clean. It depends on the picture. Clean, yeah. concise, yeah. that kind of stuff. I, like and I don't it. want to muck it up too much. Unless so, you had maybe, um, a, maybe unless you had maybe a special program that the house that the home uh, 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 qualified for or something like 100% financing or seller paid closing costs or something like you could type in there under the, your, your message down there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, or maybe an in-ground pool. In-ground pool, right, they, right, right. They, they didn't can't show, yeah, see, yeah. you know, from the front of the house. Get them, get them past the first stupid idea. Yeah. Co-listing is if I was going to co-list this with another agent, I'd enter their information in here. Um, mapping is if I wanted to change where the latitude and longitude was on Google Street Maps, I can do that here. Documents, um, you know, if you have a, a survey or um, seller's disclosure statement or whatever you want to upload, you upload them here. I know some foreclosures have just their forms for that particular asset, REO company. This is a good place to upload those. Your QR code is automatically generated for you, and it looks like this. Sweet. So that's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. um, the floor plans, this is great for builders because they have maybe multiple floor plans for you know, a development or a community. You can upload those. Back page is, you know, it's, I hear a lot of positive and negative about it. And the negative I hear is that people don't use the newspaper anymore. They don't get it as much because everything's online. However, back page does, um, there are certain clients in your target market that do get the paper. This is a great place to, to use that. It's usually the back page of a newspaper, like a Jottings or something, and it's very inexpensive, just a matter of dollars. So you can actually um, do a classified ad right from here. <clears throat> your vo voiceover spokesperson, this is your drop-down menu, and there's different people, like there's you know a female that says this is a fixer-upper, you know, a gated community, a golf community, a great deal, stunning view. So let's just choose stunning view for now and hit save. And um, I'm, you know, if you had a logo that we could upload for that property, we could do that here. I'm not going to get into analytics until close to our last class because that's a class all by itself. Property options, I've never used this, to be honest with you, but if you choose that you don't want certain features on your website, you can turn them on and turn them off. And your text code, um, this is fantastic. The text code and the QR code basically give you the same outcome. The difference is, is the text code captures the phone number of the person that just texted for information about your property. You are emailed that, Ron, and, um, and you receive a text on that. So you or uh, Regine can call them and say, hey, I just see you texted for information. Do you want to get inside and take a look? Possibly try and, and pick them up as a buyer, you know, and develop a relationship with them. So, so, what, she's saying, so what she's saying here, just to recap of, and, and this is really powerful, is if you decide to use sign writers or off of your flyers or some way, shape, or form, somebody gets a hold of this text um, uh, message, you as an agent and whoever you want to gets notified that someone has texted for information about that property. And it shows the actual number that they called from, so you can just click right on your phone and call them at that time. Oh, that's awesome. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and I would recommend getting writers. Um, again, this Absolutely. we're an instant gratification society, Ron, so everybody wants what they want, and they want it now. So the QR code is great. It gives them that instant information, but the text capture takes it a step further and actually captures your phone number for you. Um, so, and another thing that you can do with, if you go into this particular section, is to send someone a text. So, Ron, what's your, um, I think I, well, I, since this is a live car, a call, I won't ask what your phone number is, but you, know, <laughs> you should do this to your sellers. Absolutely. I would, send, I would send my sellers a text with every single solitary um, 
listing that you have right now. Okay, so that would be like a another homework session for you. Right. So that is great there. Just wanted to kind of give you the so, one on the text. So what she's saying there is what you do is once you uploaded your seller's property, what you could do before you get, because sometimes you're competing against other agents when you go to a listing presentation. So if you took a couple Definitely. minutes, uploaded the property, you have a text code now, you ask, you already have the seller's cell phone. If not, you just ask them for it. And you would say, hey, Mr. Seller, I'm going to send you something that I'm going to go over when I get there tomorrow, but I just wanted to send it to you to show you something I've already put in place for you. And you mm -hmm. could send them yeah. that. You just put their cell phone in number, push send, and it's done. It sends them the mobile version of their website which is real impressive so wow. if you're competing against a couple of their agents and they haven't done anything you've already stepped up the bar a bunch so worst case yeah. is they're going to go hey do you have a mobile website for me that i can look at which is going to blow yeah. them up on the on the competition side yeah that's great right which is the next thing that we're going to do right now so um so like for example an hour before you go out to your listing appointment you've uploaded what i you saw me do and then i've and if you don't have photos you can sometimes find expired ones on um, on the internet but I really highly recommend going out and taking three exterior photos because again it's their product you want the power of your listing presentation to be all about them so I would you know before I go out there I would send um, this text capture to that um, listing appointment that you have to go so that when you get there you know they're gonna say Ron what is this and that's where is your intro. You're walking into a warm call that they're kind of already impressed because no one else is doing this. And that's where you start, well, this is what I, um, I'm not like other agents. This is what I've done for you in advance. So let's sit and, t and talk about it. So then you kind of go into, go back to tools. You go down into your listing presentation. So here's your presentation, guys. Um, for everybody to, to view and you for you Ron to this is the house that you have the listing presentation on for Isn't example. That cool? Wow, that's okay. impressive. <clears throat> and now, so Vicky, could, now could you do this on an iPad, Vicky? Could could this be done on an iPad if you had one? It can be done. Um, in fact you would do it um, through here. Let's go back to um, let's go back to my flip shows real quick. There's the flash and then there's the Java. Okay. Now an iPad does not have flash, so you okay. have to use the Java. Uh, which is the same thing, it's just, you know, different. Okay. Um, the other thing to do, too, is you can, you know, upload this to PowerPoint and do a, a PowerPoint Download, presentation right. slide. Right. Yeah. So, um, so let's go back into my tools. Over here is tools. And I'm going to come back down to my listing presentation. So everything has been um, converted from all those listing photos that I put in. Um, to everything is about that hall and this is uh, a generic one you can and I'm going to show you later how you can change your presentation to be whatever you want it to be so if you already have a listing presentation that is memorized um, and you feel really good about that in words you can add your words to this presentation but what I will tell you is this is the new way of doing a presentation the old way is what they call push and an example of that would be you would have uh, a binder. I call them brag books, and you would go through, you know, and you're studying with the sellers, and you're saying, here's the awards that I've won. You know, this is I'm top agent here. I'm I'm this. I'm that. I'm this. I'm that. It's all about you. Now that has changed, and this system allows you to, you know, again, this is one of the things where I talk about embrace that change, Ron, because right. now it's not about you. It's about them. Yeah, very and when cool. When you use results in advance, then you know you've changed from being you know a salesy person that's all, only thinking about their commission to being a true consultant in their business and in their lives. So this right here is just basically telling them you know. Um, so if you were my client, Ron, I'd say, Ron, you know, my plan for success is to create a demand for qualified buyers so that they compete with your home. And how I'm going to do that is I have designed a custom website. Let's take a look at you know your, your website that I did for you, Ron. And you click Sample. So this is your website, Ron, um, and you're looking at it. It's going through it. And so let me explain some things about, about it. This is your photos. Um, I've uploaded three. Um, we will get more you know, later on down the road, but I wanted you to know we have um, unlimited photos that we can use. 
and um, this is your virtual tour for some reason that's not going. I've already done that for you. Um, I also wanted to let you know that I created a map through Google Maps for you and directions. You know, and buyers want to know kind of what's nearby, Ron. You know, they want to know how close they are to, you know, the grocery store or a restaurant. In addition to that, they want to know about schools. So I went ahead and uploaded, you know, what's private, what's public, the names of each of the schools and how close they are to the house. And a big one that buyers want to know is like, when they want to look at the neighborhood, they want to know, you know, what that neighborhood looks like um, before, um, you know, they drive out there. This gives you an idea. So this is your home right here, Ron. And, and also we can do a bird's eye view. We can do a 3D. You know, you can go through all this with them. Awesome. Okay. And so, um, Ron, if they also want to know about information, I went ahead and put some, some information about estimated loan payments. Um, and if they want to print out a brochure, that's here available for them too as well. You guys so, hearing that? You guys hearing the difference of like how she's presenting this? Like, here's I've already done this. I've already done this. I've already done. I've created this. I've set up this. I've, I mean, that is totally different than what your competition is going to do. And I would, we see testimonials all the time where people go into a listing presentation with what she just showed you, and they're earning higher commissions. They're getting to the listing paperwork sooner. It's just a slam dunk, and they're competing against other people that have don't have a chance. It's almost like it's almost like a it's almost like not even legal that, that because so so few people are taking a little extra time to prepare for their listing presentation, but it's yielding such much bigger results. So I just wanted to share the how the change in her voice yeah. was. Like, here's what I've done. Here's I set this up. I did this. I did that. So it's all about well, the them. Thing it is, is yeah. And they don't know, the sellers don't know that you, Ron, did not do this. You're Correct. telling them, I did this. It's right. automatically generated for you. You right. saw how long it took me to, to enter it in. Yeah, it does. So that's automatic. the power. They're right. thinking that you took all that time. Oh, my gosh, you did that. Oh, my gosh. Right. you, Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's what I do. I want, you know, and so you just kind of go from there. Um, and then you kind of go through, and I would get to know, Ron, you know, that's another homework is, Look at it, you know, see if there's anything that, you know, is really good for you. Like, for example, every time you click on sample, it's about their home. Right. You know, um, the QR code is their their home. And I would recommend, I, Ron, do you have QR code reader on your phone? Um, I do. I actually haven't used it yet, but I did download yeah. the app. Yeah. Okay, so this is their QR code reader. So make sure that you have the app uploaded on your iPhone and then hover it over this. Okay. You know, so that I'm actually it can doing go. it right now. Okay. And oh, you know, you can always hit Control Plus and you can zoom it up. So, you know, if it's too small for you, you know, on your screen, your iPad, whatever, you know. Actually, I recommend doing this. Um, I, I'm going to get you trained <laughs> so that you do this presentation from your smartphone. You can do it from your Facebook page. You know, you can do it, you know, on your laptop. So everything's on there. So no more of the, the big binder. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Does that sound good? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. So, yeah, you can just kind of go through here and look at this as an example of what the riders look like. And, you know, again, if you, the sample, let's go back, would be the flyer of, of their home. Um, and you just kind of flip through it. It's just flip book. This tells you where it's going to be, um, you know, pushed out to once. In fact, that's where you would say. You would say, you know, all that's left to do is to push it, push this online to all these various sites. So once I get back to the office and we're, you know, we have the listing contract ready to go, you know, then I'll activate the site and then we'll, we'll go from there. It's optimized for Google. Um, that's where we would get into letting them know that by using keywords, um, you're going to get rated in Google searches, um, and you're then you'll be able to know how to do that so that you can get the target markets of the buyers because 94% of people go to the internet and search for homes. Sometimes before, sometimes during, as they're out there looking for homes, even working with an agent. So you want to be in competition. You want to be focused so that it's your property that's getting seen on Google when they put in those keywords of a three-bedroom home for sale in wherever, or a three-bedroom home for sale on Lake Geneva, or uh, a three-bedroom home for sale with pole barn in Vicksburg schools. Whatever you think that that keyword 
that that buyer may put in there, I'll show you how to get exposure uh, for Google for your listings. Um, of course, uh, YouTube, you know, that's another place of uh, driving traffic to your site and also letting them know that you are tech savvy and you understand social media. How you can upload these properties into your own personal sites. Um, it's easily done with one click tapping or posting. Um, stats and reports. That's going to be our next thing that we're going to go to, and then we're almost finished. So we'll go ahead and, and uh, get out of this. Take time, you know, before we talk next week and kind of, you know, get an idea. I want to make sure that you like it and if there's anything that you want me to change on it. Or if you're yeah. a li an agent listening to this, that you know, um, your homework would be what? To go in, um, do, you have, do you have like specific yeah, instructions? Yeah, play around with it. Upload yeah. a property. Yeah. Go to your listing presentation. Kind of get familiar with it. So the next time, so, and again, if you have any questions, go ahead and contact the loan professional that sent you here. And um, that, Vicki, does that conclude class number one as far as getting started with EPS? No, it doesn't. I have, okay. I, um, uh, there was just one more thing that I wanted to show you really quickly. Okay. Um, this, this is one that I already did for you, Ron. I know that Jerry is your buyer's agent. So I went ahead and did a buyer's agent presentation. So um, we're going to go into this uh, a little bit further. I sent it to Jerry, too, as well. These are my words. These are my pictures, my um, pictures that I uploaded on here, but I wanted you to, to have this because I know that Jerry said that, um, you know, what does he do, what does he, he asked me about, you know, how am I going to, what can I do to, to be, um, to make a connection between buyers that are referred to your office after I speak with them. So this is a great strategy. So for example, you would take this URL link for Jerry and then you would send them an email like say Jerry talked to them you know today and he has an appointment for them to come into the office tomorrow so um, there there's some fear on that um, on that buyer side they don't know what's going to happen what are what do you expect of them you know are they going to be able to, are they going to be giving you their private information you know there's all those kind of things and these presentations not only can you use them for a listing presentation you can use them for every single type of con client that you have, buyer, expired, for sale by owners. All you're doing is setting the expectations, you're overcoming any fears or objections, and you're answering the concerns that they have. And so you're letting them know what's going to happen. So on our first meeting, you know, we're going to, you know, um, I want my goal is to make your experience successful and enjoyable. You know, this is Jerry. You know, this is what he does. Again, every sample that you click on, I'm not going to go into too detailed now because we're getting to the end of our time, but it could be a link to his website or your website. Um, what's going to happen in our first appointment? We're going to, um, I'm going to listen, you know, and we're going to sign a buyer agency form. Here you could actually link a buyer agent form that you have. They see it. They get a chance to review it. There's no, oh, I, I don't want to sign this contract with you. Um, in fact, Here's the one that I uploaded. It gives me permission to represent you, to act in your best interest. Um, and it keeps your interest as priority. Um, so that's what that is. First thing you have to do is get pre-approved. You know, you click the sample of who it is that's doing your marketing. Um, and when I get listings that meet your requirements, I'm going to email those to you. I'm also going to text you on properties that are hot. That means I really want you to drive by those within that day because I think that they're not going to last very long. Then when we find a house, you're going to know it, and I, my goal is to place your offer ahead of the competition and get you the best advantage. Your offer to purchase at that time will include a good faith deposit and the pre-approval letters, and we'll know within 24 hours if it's accepted, countered, or rejected. Do you see where I'm going on this, Ron? I can see where you're going. Okay. Yep. So it, it's just basically answering all the questions that they have. So this so is something you know, like we would learn later on yeah, after we get after we get used to the system and stuff. This yeah. Is, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's okay. that's just one of the power within the system. So there's so many. So, I mean, like we. I mean, we literally have hours and hours of training on this. So that we just wanted to kind of give you the basics, kind of show you the power behind what can actually take place inside. I mean, the the big the big thing that I hear with most real estate agents is they have um, they have all these tools. 
tools or they have a lot of the tools, but they're in different logins and passwords and they got to fit them to put them together. And it that doesn't, you know, it's like, okay, what's my login for this? My text code and QR code and all that. And it's like, this puts it under one roof, one login, right. one password, and it puts everything together. Plus provides tracking. So thank you much, Vicky. I appreciate you. You're welcome. And, thank uh, you, We look forward to seeing you guys. Yeah. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you guys on the next uh, class, which is uh, going to be, uh, you'll get a link from your loan professional uh, in the next couple days, two, three, four days. But uh, please, please, please take this, log into it, get set up, play around with it, and uh, just know this is going to be part of your life now. All right? All right, guys. We'll okay. see you on the next class. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye. Right. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye-bye.